What's going on guys? It's Frito here for your Overwatch. We got a Summer Games update coming in hot today with a new patch, as well as some Overwatch news. We'll discuss it all while taking a look at the new cosmetics for the event. First of all, there will be three unlockable skins that you'll get for completing your nine wins in each week of the event. The sand bucket for Bastion's head I thought was a nice touch. And how can you get upset about how powerful Orisa is when she's dressed up like an ice cream cone? But on top of that, Blizzard finally added some major revisions to Lucio Ball this year. Not only will you be able to play it in the standard or competitive modes, now there's a brand new wacky version of Lucio Ball called Lucio Ball Remix where there's two balls in play at once, periodic bonus balls that'll be mixed in worth three points each. And the patch note says, scores will skyrocket and astounding plays will be made. Will you keep up or will the barrage of balls break your brain? I don't know, the alliteration in this is already breaking mine. Other adjustments to the gameplay, Lucio's gonna move faster, have faster cooldowns. His punch and boop range are increased, making the balls easier to hit. The direction you're looking is going to play a bigger part in your ball control you can crouch midair to go to the ground faster and all of this is adjustable in custom games these changes i believe are to all of the lucio ball modes not just the remix version which should overall just make the game play a lot more fun whether you're playing the wacky remix version or not now blizzard had been working on a ptr which is a rare thing nowadays some of the changes went through but not all of them. Now put onto live is the priority requeue for backfilled games. This matters a lot with quick play. You'll now get priority queue status when you backfill, which is a good thing. Custom games now allow you to set up lopsided teams. This is important for a lot of workshop game modes, I believe. A new competitive change for high level players. You now cannot group above a duo at 3,900 or higher. It used to be GM, but since they did that soft MMR reset, this rule now correlates with that workshop changes there was a ton of things included with this lots of different settings that workshop creators can now tune but the one thing you'll notice is not included with this is the character scaling which changed the size of characters adjusting their pitch and all that that is not included yet but you'd expect that eventually they'd get it included as well assuming they can get it to work otherwise in the news we're all waited with bated breath to see if the overwatch 2 leaks are going to be confirmed step one of that has already been lined up where the playstation state of play event in fact will be occurring this week thursday the 6th to be exact the previous 4chan leak stated that the overwatch 2 campaign trailer would be shown for this event pretty early on after the call of duty trailers were finished playstation does confirm that there will be no playstation 5 information like was previously leaked but as overwatch 2 will be for current gen as well as next gen that leak is still on the table so we'll have to wait until Thursday to see if that leak is confirmed but fear not because even if there isn't any overwatch news in the state of play it's extremely likely that there will be some at gamescom 2020 because blizzard activision have confirmed to be attending the event this year in the past when blizzard was at gamescom new overwatch content was announced but we already know that they're all done with overwatch one so if they're showing up to this thing it's got to be more about overwatch two and that's right around the corner as well at the end of the month starting August August 27th and ending on the 30th. It's that entire weekend. So with all that coming up, let me know your theories in the comment section down below and we'll see whose guesses are right. What are we getting at these new events? When is Overwatch 2 going to be released? Put your best guesses in the comment section down below. And one last item for you token farmers out there. This weekend, you can earn double tokens for tuning into the Overwatch League. The Countdown Cup Tournament kicks off on Friday. Gameplay in the Overwatch League got a huge buff from this tournament format in my opinion where teams that are better at a given patch or meta get more play time and the competition increases as the event goes on if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave it a like it really does help us out and just know that you're enjoying the content and if you haven't already hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell icon to actually get notified when our videos go live link to the description is our twitter where we tweet out news updates and dank memes that's been it for me i've been frito for your overwatch we'll see you guys next time